Now, in the United States, there's been a record turnout in the state of Georgia on the first day of early voting for next month's US presidential election. More than a quarter of a million ballots were cast by the middle of the afternoon on Tuesday. That's nearly double the number at the same stage in 2020. Nationwide, though, there have been far fewer early votes than at the last election, which was affected by the COVID pandemic. Kamala Harris and Donald Trump have both been campaigning heavily in Georgia, which is regarded as one of the key swing states. And by the way, you may remember this mugshot. It's Donald Trump, along with 18 others, accused of criminally conspiring to overturn his defeat there uh, back then. Uh, former president has pleaded not guilty to that. Well, CBS News correspondent Nicole Killian is in Marietta in Georgia and has been telling me more about the mood of voters who've been going to the polls early. A lot of enthusiasm on the part of voters and having covered elections here in Georgia before, it really doesn't come as a surprise because we have often seen record turnout, high turnout among voters, not just in terms of what we saw with early voting uh, just yesterday, but even in past elections like the 2022 midterms, the 2020 election. So this has really kind of been part of a trend uh, that we are seeing on the part of uh, Georgia voters. But it is a very... Uh, exciting, certainly for uh, state election officials, which uh, said that there were well over 300,000 people who turned out on that first day of early voting. And even here at this polling location before we arrived, there was already a line. And I can tell you it's quite cold here in Georgia. <laughs> so the fact that people are willing to stand out there, even in freezing weather, uh, is really a testament to people wanting to exercise uh, their democratic right. Yeah, OK. And, and also, Nicole, there's been a court ruling, hasn't there on how the votes are counted. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there actually were two court rulings that were issued Tuesday, but the most recent one came from a local judge, in effect, uh, blocking a new rule that would have required ballots to be hand counted. And this was quite controversial because this is a state election board that actually has a lot of the former president's allies on this board. And so they passed this new rule last month, but uh, the judge, in effect, ruled that it was too much and too late in the process to try to implement this process, and especially in terms of trying to get poll workers up to speed. Uh, the judge also said that, you know, the memories of January 6th have not faded away and that this would be a disservice to voters and potentially even undermine confidence in the election. Uh, that same judge also issued another ruling earlier in the day requiring local election officials to certify their results on time, not to delay. And, of course, this comes as uh, we still have a case pending in this state uh, stemming from alleged election interference in the 2020 election uh, on the part of the former president and some of his allies. Uh, Nicole Killian reporting there. Just a quick reminder that as the uh, presidential election heats up, you can stay across the state of the race on our BBC website. Search for the US election poll tracker for all the latest polling and data information from across the country.